One player I've seen a lot of discourse about on Twitter is Josh Job. Josh Job forced into action at cornerback early this season with the Avante Maddox injury when the Eagles moved James Bradbury into the slot. Now he's being now even though they have Bradley Roby, he has to play against the Jets because Darius Slay's out. And so just how did Josh Job play? I mean, he had a 47 coverage grade via PFF. He drew two flags on the day. It had to be pretty bad, right? Let's go to the tape. Here is that first penalty against Josh Job. He's down here at the bottom of the screen, and you're just going to see him, and you'll see him do it again this game, but he's going to get too grabby at the top of a route stem. So he's got outside leverage here, pushing inside where you've got safety help. That's totally fine, but now when he tries to break outside, he gets underneath Job, and Job just grabs him, doesn't let him go. Easy flag for the official. And again, that's one where just let him go probably maybe it's a bad throw you are playing Zach Wilson maybe you just get a little bit of a grab whatever you don't want to just grab on in front of the official that's far too easy but later in the same possession we see him here's Job playing off coverage we're going to get the receiver running an out route and Job does a really good job at driving down on this and forcing an incompletion so he squats on this route sees the break and he starts to drive down as Zach Wilson delivers the ball and he's able to make a play at the catch point so Good and bad from Job there on the first drive. And he ultimately makes the play that gets the Eagles off the field on the opening possession. However, after that, Job missed the next two possessions, which is strange. I don't know if there was an injury thing. Uh, if you were going to pull him for the flag, you would do it you know, earlier. And he's on the field on the last play, makes the play, nothing looks strange. But for whatever reason, he misses the next two possessions. And then we come back on the fourth possession. Here's Job at the top of the screen said we're going to see this a familiar sight we've got an outbreaking route job gets too physical at the top of the route and this is going to draw another flag just a little out of position a little too handsy at the break easy flag for the official that's something that job has to clean up moving forward now this time we have job at the top of the screen off coverage the receiver is going to run a slant route uh, behind sort of a vertical route here from the inside receiver and I think Job does a really good job from off coverage at breaking down. He seems to do a better job, in my view, of breaking down on in-breakers than he does on out-breakers. But that may or may not be accurate. It's just my feeling watching the game. But you see him turbos down there. Uh, ultimately, the ball doesn't come his way, but I think it's a good coverage rep. And now we're going to get him at the top of the screen. This time we're in press coverage. So he's been in off. Now he's in press. We're going to get a vertical release and then go into the back or to the front pylon and I think he does a really good job on this press interaction gets hands on the receiver right he goes inside it's an inside release but we've got help in the middle there's linebackers there so he's playing with outside leverage stays on that inside pocket now ultimately he ends up on the ground at the end there but I think that's a pretty good rep in coverage there from Josh Job. so again seeing some good things from him here in coverage now we have Job in off coverage on the outside receiver in a bunch uh, outside receiver is going to try to get him on a double move a little out and up. I think Job does a really good job at staying in phase here. His technique's good. He doesn't bite on this double move. This boom, he takes a step, opens those hips back up, and uh, he's there. That throw's not there. And so I think that's a really good play by Josh Job not to bite on that. I mean, we've seen Darius Slay bite on one of those double moves earlier this season, and everybody gets got, but having that discipline, resisting the siren call to make a big play, really good there from Job. Then we come back again. We're in press coverage here on Garrett Wilson at the bottom of the screen. And I think this is a good rep. It's just one where a great catch beats great coverage. And so he gets that jam. He's running on the inside shoulder, funneling to the sideline. Now you don't want to let him get a step on you. You would rather be right here in his hip pocket. You're just a little bit behind, but this is a tight window and it's not really honestly a very good throw by Zach Wilson, but Garrett Wilson goes up and makes that catch so uh, overall I think that's a pretty good rep for Josh Job even though it results in a big game this is probably Job's worst non-penalized rep of the game we've got him down here at the bottom again on Garrett Wilson uh, he ended up on Garrett Wilson a lot in this game and to be honest in this situation I would rather you have Bradbury on Garrett Wilson but or I mean if, if you want to put Job on Garrett Wilson and leave Bradbury on an island and push your coverage to Wilson that makes sense but I thought they kind of left Job on an island here. This is the free play because we get a jump off sides here. It's just going to be 
I mean, it's a second reaction, kind of a scramble drill thing, but Job's footwork is all wrong here, and he gets dusted on this one. So he goes for the jam. He's got the inside leverage. We're good, but he's leaning too much. And so when Wilson snaps this route off, just that transition's terrible. He's got no chance here. From inside leverage, he's in the right position, leaning. Boom, has to open his hips all the way up gets dusted across the field, and then he misses the tackle. And that is something that Job has done before, giving up big plays because he misses tackles. Now, ultimately, that one doesn't count because of the blindside block on Alan Lazard, but that's a pretty poor rep there from Josh Job. This time, Job is at the bottom of the screen defending uh, a receiver that's in a compressed look. The Jets are going to run a play-action bootleg and they're going to get Zach Wilson rolling this way the receiver sort of fakes the block and then runs this out route and Josh Job does a good job to stay with him doesn't get fooled doesn't take the playoff because he thinks it's a run away from him he's right there in coverage and he's able to swat the ball away even if that's completed it'd be a really short gain on second down and then the last play I wanted to show he's down here at the bottom of the screen again uh, this is just a really good press interaction the receiver is going to go for an outside release and then try to cut inside, and Job does a really good job of getting hands on him, being physical when it's allowed to do so. This isn't going to draw a flag. This is legal. Uh, a good jam here from Job at the bottom of the screen. So we'll roll that. Boom, inside. I, I love that. Let's, let's rewind that. At the release, he gets inside. He wants to. You want to push it to the sideline here. You want to use the sideline as an extra defender, so he's walling off the inside. When the route tries to break inside, he does a really good job of popping him in the chest, and it just disrupts any timing. If this is a quick inbreaker, that plays dead in the water. So good stuff there from Josh Job on that one. I think it was an up-and-down performance for Josh Job, but it was more good than bad. While I wouldn't want Josh Job to be playing a lot of snaps in a playoff run this season, I think he's good as a depth piece. I think there's hope for him as a long-term solution at a starter outside moving forward. I mean, at the end of the day, he allowed two receptions for 38 yards in this game and only allowed two yards after the catch. Now, obviously, that's helped out by the one play negated by penalty. Things are off. He sees Hassan Reddick, or I don't think it was Hassan Reddick. He sees the defensive lineman jump. Maybe that plays into the psyche there. Uh, so all in all, I think people are a little too down on Josh Job. I think overall, he played a pretty solid game against a really good receiver in Garrett Wilson.